almost 9 a.m. on September 16th and I am getting ready to go to the hospital um, to get a hysterectomy. So, I've wanted to film more but I'm just so emotional, it's just kind of unreal, so. I love you and I will see you when I get to the hospital. So, um, I have to rush to get ready because the doctor's already waiting, but they are having me wipe down my body with these wipes, and then, um, I put my gown on, and then I think they're ready to go. They're gonna get me hooked up, and, and yeah, so, I'm gonna pre-op, uh, with, like, room right now, so, I will be back after I wipe myself down. Stuff's in her bag. Hey babes. Um <laughs> alright, so I'm pretty faded still. Um whoa. got out of surgery a while ago and we just got into our room where we're gonna be staying the night. Um they did give me this nifty little <laughs> button that allows me to control my um, my pain meds which is fucking cool and I have my Yoshi with me because it reminds me of Angelo and yeah my uh, sibling heck is here with me but he just ran down to the cafeteria to go see what kind of vegan options they have here um, for right now I am on a clear liquid diet um, for today so well I just thought I'm supposed to be on a clear liquid diet but I have some vegetable broth so maybe just liquids in general either way um, my incision is pretty gnarly um, I will definitely show you guys that later um, bandaged up of course I'm not gonna put you through seeing it all gnarly um, so yeah a couple of my family members um, were here earlier and they're gonna come back um, I did decide to not have either one of my parents come because it just oh, I will tell you the whole story soon on the last few days and how chaotic it has been but yeah, I love you guys, and I will be back soon. Hi babes, um, just wanted to give you guys an update that the, sur the hysterectomy surgery is done. They were able to keep um, both of my ovaries, which is super rad. Um, Um, so they did my incision scar, um, straight up, like from my, the top of my vagina to my, um, belly button, so that's kind of gnarly, it's pretty huge, but whatever.
<sighs> I feel weird. <sighs> but my pain levels are chill. I don't know. What the lick? You see this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, here's the room. I have your blanket and Yoshi. And yesterday, Matt came down and him and Wada went and got me a little pumpkin and some flowers. And yeah, say hi, Wada. Yo. Wada was playing wild. And we're just chilling. Hey babes, so this is just going to be a little bit of an update, um, obviously still in the hospital um, after my radical hysterectomy surgery um, for a diagnosed 1B1 stage cervical cancer. Um, this is day, going on day three in the hospital. I have my um, bandages off. So I'm able to see like the incision scar, which I will show you guys at some point. Um, we got the IV moved from the top of the hand to the side. Um, excuse my tissue. Just got done watching um, the new first episode of American Horror Story, um, which I thought was really good. It's like a slasher one, um, and it's all like 80s themed. So um, that was rad here with my sibling, heck, we're just hanging out, um, I'll give you guys some more updates, they had me on, um, or they took me off of the pain button that I had, um, I, I was, for the first few days I was able to just control my own, um, pain medication, but they took me off of that earlier today, um, and so we're just trying it with oral medications and stuff, so, um, maybe TMI, um, but they were basically just waiting for my body, uh, my bowels to start working and for my body to start um, being able to pass gas, which I was finally able to do today on almost the third day. Um, so, which is good. They have me on um, a full liquid diet. Um, I was on clear liquids for a while, but now it's just full liquid and hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to eat like at least something a little bit solid, so. Um, that's my update for now. I love you guys and I will be back. Keep her down, okay?